For those of you who don't know, I'm Maggie, and today we are filming for the first time in like a month. So if this is super rusty, please don't judge. Just getting back into the swing of things after a really good long summer of vacations and seeing people that I haven't seen in years. And I had to scoot my chair over because please look how cute Nash is over there. But today we are discussing a bunch of my favorites from the month of July. And since I've been off of filming for like a month, I figured this was a fun one to start with. And as usual, this is just gonna be a hodgepodge of lifestyle items. So the first thing, or things I guess I should say, is this three pack of clips. And this comes from Anthropology, and this was a pack of three for $18. So not the cheapest, but also not super expensive, especially for how often I've been using these. Using these clips and this kind of style, I feel like is really in right now as it was in the 90s. And I've been wearing my hair just kind of like pulled back, twisted up and down to where there's not hair like flopping over the clip. It's just kind of contained little like French twist situation thing happening in the back. But these do such a good job of holding up my hair. Now this medium size is something that I feel like is hard to come by or at least was when I was growing up because I always had really long, super thick hair. And when people would wear their hair in clips, I'd be like, how on earth? Are you able to do that? Well, these I actually get why, and I feel like this is an enhancement now, and that's because these clips have these little inner teeth on the inside that really help grip the hair and keep it in place. So I'm not redoing my hair every five seconds when I try to wear it up in a clip because it's not constantly slipping down. Now, if you like these specific colors of this three pack, mine is in the shade mint, but they do offer two other color variations if you're interested. And one of my friends introduced these to us on a beach trip and then all six of us ended up buying these and six people love them. So just keep that in mind. These are tried and tested and I have been wearing these in my hair non-stop, especially because I'm still working from home and so it's just an easy like get out of bed, throw your hair up hairstyle. And if you are like me and struggled with clips falling out of your hair, these will not disappoint. All right, next up, I wanted to kind of present all of these items in just like one bundle. So in my last June favorites video, I mentioned that I had really been loving a lot of the products from Merit Beauty, and I kind of outlined all of them, what they were supposed to do, the claims of them. So if you want more detailed information about their entire line, definitely go back to that favorites video. But now I wanted to do like a one month follow-up. So I've now been using these products for about two months straight, and these are my favorites. And one of them is gonna shock you, so I'll just go ahead and start with that. And in my original video, I was like, I just don't really see the point of this brush because they didn't have a foundation in their line. They had kind of a correcting stick, but it wasn't a true foundation, which is what I feel like these have traditionally been used for. So I was a little confused. And originally I had applied their cream blush just with my fingers. Well, I have found that I think I prefer using this product with this brush the most. This is so easy to apply and it's so small. So when I was traveling with all of these products, because they're mostly cream products, they didn't take up hardly any room in my cosmetics bag. So I would just like dab on a little bit on my cheeks just directly from this little stick and then go in with this blush brush and just kind of like pat it in. And I feel like it disperses the color so nicely. It's what I'm wearing on my face today. And this shade in particular, I think is perfect for summer. It's the shade Beverly Hills. This blush was definitely a standout product because I feel like I've never truly liked cream blushes until this one. But I also couldn't go without mentioning the two other products that I've really, really liked. This one I've been putting to use every day, and this is their brow product. It's much like the Glossier Boy Brow in that it has like the tinted gel on this tiny little spoolie that you just brush straight into your brows. And I love the amount of product that this distributes onto your brows. It's not super duper inky to where you're accidentally putting way too much product on and then you're kind of backtracking trying to fix it. I think it goes on so evenly. It's no nonsense. It's brushing your brows out while putting color into them and it just makes it such an easy one step process. I have mine in the shade brown and I think it works perfectly with the shade of my brows. And then lastly, their mascara. So this I don't use every day, I'll admit. This is definitely for those times, like last night, we went and played pickleball and I knew that I would be doing a ton of sweating and I refuse to buy waterproof mascara because it always just rips my eyelashes out. It's a pain to get off. This tubing style mascara is kind of the answer to that because it doesn't smear it only comes off when you have warm water and it comes off in these little like flaky pieces. So you're never gonna end up with like raccoon eyes if you're wearing this and sweating or even swimming or something like that. It does not do 
the most volumizing lengthening job that other mascaras do but this one for me is my specific like when it's super duper hot outside and I plan to be sweating a lot kind of mascara. Next up are two top performing sunscreens that I have really used all summer long. The first one is this Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This came in a FabFitFun box and this is what I've dedicated to like being my beach sunscreen. So when I don't wanna wear any makeup, I'm gonna be outside in the water, in the sun all day. This is pretty much the only thing that's going on my face. And this has a very unique kind of pore filling texture to it. It's almost like a primer, but this is just a straight up like no frill sunscreen. It's not gonna leave a white cast, but it's also not like their glow screen and that it's gonna give you like a really pretty sheen. None of that. It just goes on clear, it's SPF 40, and I'll be the first to admit, I always forget to put a face sunscreen in my beach bag. I'm really great about reapplying body sunscreen, but not so much for the face. And even with no reapplications on the beach, and that's fine, yell at me, whatever, I was wearing a hat the whole time, I never, ever had a sunburned face with this. So high marks for the unseen sunscreen. And then my other go-to sunscreen throughout this summer has been this Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. This is SPF 30, and this is the sunscreen that I'm gonna reach for every single time when I'm putting on makeup with it. So beach only sunscreen with makeup sunscreen. So anytime I'm just working at home or we're going out to dinner at the beach or something like that, this is what I turn to. The reason I like this so much in the summer is that it is pretty mattifying. It's not gonna give you that like porcelain look. It's still gonna make your skin look like skin, but it's also not super glowy, which can add to my already kind of oily skin in the summertime. This is lightly tinted, and truthfully, this is the only thing that I've been wearing on my face. I haven't been putting on BB creams or CC creams or anything like that this summer. This is just this sunscreen on my face with then like some blush and bronzer and highlighter. So just to give you an idea, I wouldn't say that I have problem skin, and so I'm usually not trying to cover up a lot. I'm just doing whatever is easiest, keeping things super natural, and I've really been enjoying it, super low maintenance, and this is awesome. I do have one fail of a product to mention, and it's this Paula's Choice Omega Complex Cleansing Balm. I have been looking for the best like first step cleanser, and I love the DHC cleansing oil, but then I wanted to try something different to see if there's anything better out there and try to Bosha one, and I still like the DHC more. Then in the past, I had also tried like the Pharmacy Green Clean, which I liked, but you had to dip your hand in a jar. Didn't love that format. So then I was like, well, let me try a gel in a squeeze tube. This just isn't cutting it. So the DHC cleansing oil is what I will be buying next. That has been my favorite of all of them and what I keep comparing things to. So that's my sign to just go ahead and repurchase that. This isn't terrible. This just really doesn't get my makeup off as well as even their normal cleansers. So this just kind of seems like an extra step for no real reason because it's not doing the best job of removing that first layer of makeup. So just had to mention that if you had your eye on this, it didn't really work for me, but may work for you if you really are partial to the gel format. Next up, I have two pair of shorts that I wanna recommend. One of them comes from Amazon, and it's just this little pair of running shorts. This was recommended to me by a friend as well, just like the hair clips. These are so comfortable because they have this super thick waistband right here. This I feel like is the Amazon dupe for those super popular free people shorts right now from free people movement that have almost like double the waistband size. So this is just a more moderate version of those shorts and you're still achieving kind of the same effect. So these come with a pocket on the left hand side of the short and then these are also lined, which I personally appreciate in these kind of loose fitting on the bottom running shorts. I love this purple color mostly because I didn't have any Thing already but if you're looking for a color that is a little bit more neutral they do offer blacks and grays and greens and I want to say that these were like 22 to 24 dollars on Amazon so much cheaper than you would be paying at like a Lululemon or something like that and I feel like these are just as high quality I can't stop wearing these these have been in the wash every single week this summer and I'm really tempted to buy a couple more colors the next pair of shorts that I want to mention is actually this pair of denim shorts from Madewell Recently, they had a really big sale, and so I kind of looked through their site for staples because I feel like Madewell does denim really, really well, and I was on the hunt for some denim shorts that didn't have like a rolled up kind of banded bottom. The three pair of denim shorts that I have all have that feature, so I wanted some that were a little bit different, 
and these had really really great reviews and I loved kind of the relaxed bottom with this kind of fringe detail these are high-waisted and the first wear after you wash these these are like kind of tight but when these loosen up I I wait like two and three weeks in between to wash these because I love how they feel when they're a little bit looser and lived in they're just so comfortable because this bottom part right here is not hugging your thigh. Now I did get these on sale, but I'm pretty sure this is one of their like staple styles and I'll find the name of it and list it on the screen for you below. But man oh man, can't say enough good things about these shorts. Okay. Talked about this before, this is not new. This is just something that I feel like is the best stylish travel backpack that I have. I have been traveling a lot this summer, which is mostly why I haven't been filming much lately. And this backpack has come with me on several trips. And I actually had a couple people stop me in the airport to ask what brand this was and where I got this. So it was a hit at the airport too. <laughs> I like the blue color. It complements a lot of my blue luggage that I already have. While this does appear to be a pretty small backpack, it actually has pretty big capacity. On the inside, I'm able to fit like my full sized kind of like leather purse in here along with a Kindle and other just like easy grab items while I'm traveling. The one thing that I'll knock this for is that it doesn't have any sort of water bottle holder, which is kind of annoying, but you can always find space to kind of shove it in here as well. It has these two inner pockets. It has an inside zipper pocket. It has a place where you can kind of put an iPad or Kindle or something like a big catch-all pocket inside, plus the whole capacity capacity of the larger pocket itself. In the back, it has a laptop sleeve and then some additional space if you had like magazines or something like that that you wanna travel with. And I love that if you get tired of carrying this on your back, it also has this flap here that can actually fit over the handle of your rolling suitcase. It's really convenient, the straps are comfortable, it's just the perfect midsize. And this also comes in a variety of colors. Still going with things that I traveled with this summer, and that is this brand new Kindle. It always shows just like a random book on the front, which is why I keep showing you the back of this. But I did end up getting the Kindle Paperwhite, which is the same Kindle that I already had before. However, that one was 11 years old, had no backlight. It was the first generation, and I kept getting like a white screen that wouldn't let me touch anything. I'd have to reset the Kindle all the time. So it was just a sign that I needed a new one. These last forever because the technology in them is nothing like groundbreaking. It's not like an iPhone that's meant to like poop out after a couple of years and make you get a new one. These things truly do last forever. And for the amount that I read, I thought it was well worth the investment. So I did do some comparisons between the paper white and the Oasis, which is the line above the paper white. And I just felt like for my reading needs, the paper white is what I wanted. They both have like backlit screens, but the difference is that the Oasis has separate buttons on the outside that you can turn the page with that this one doesn't have. This one's just fully touch screen. And I wanna say that the material of that other Kindle is like a metal, whereas this one is more of like a plastic substance. I have no idea what this is actually made out of, but I liked that this came in several different colors. So I ended up going with the sage green one and I haven't bought a cover for it yet because I actually do love the color so much, but I think eventually that is the right move if I am gonna continue to travel with it just to keep it protected so this one can also last me. 11 good years. But this one has just been so nice, such a step up. The page turning is so responsive. The backlight is such a game changer because now if I wanted to read in bed, I don't have to turn the lamp on and disturb Brian. If I wanna read on the beach, you can turn the brightness up so that the sun doesn't affect any of your reading. It's super lightweight and so much thinner than the one that I had before. I'll tell you for the price difference between the paper white and the Oasis, I feel like the paper white is the way to go. All right, a couple more things that I traveled with this summer and then we're gonna end on one home item. One is this hat from Amazon. I traveled with two different beach hats to a couple of trips that I took and this is the one that I ended up wearing 100% of the time. This came from Amazon and I wanna say that this was like 22 or $23 and this was definitely one of the best summer investments I made. So it's just this kind of natural straw material and it has this great little neutral suede tie around it, which I really liked. And then the inside is completely adjustable. So you can see this elastic part here. 
Um, it is actually Velcroed on the bottom, and so you can make this hat as tight or as loose as you want it to be, within a couple of inches, of course. But this stayed on so well, even when it was really windy on the beach and when we were taking a golf cart like from the condo to the beach, which was nice. And this thing has gotten completely soaked and bounced back and looked brand new every time. Now they have this hat with several different like band options if this like neutral kind of suede isn't speaking to you. And it's all from the same seller. So highly, highly recommend this hat. Another big shout out to this pair of sunglasses that I got in a trunk club box. These I feel like have held up so well. They're just this very classic sunglasses style. There's nothing super notable about them, but I loved how dark the lenses are. So they really truly shaded my eyes when we were on the beach in Hawaii and in Florida. And I also love that the earpieces have not completely widened on me. I feel like I finally learned my lesson not to like put my sunglasses on my head because over time that really does stretch out the earpieces. And these have stayed so tight and they just feel so secure on my face. And I also love that they have like the little plastic pieces here rather than the metal pieces. So if I do ever push them up on my head occasionally, it's not getting all caught in my hair. And when you're sitting on the beach with the sun in your face, the metal on the outside isn't getting super hot and kind of burning you. Love that they were all plastic. I felt like they were the perfect size that just really covered up my eyes. Very high quality, very easy to clean, and it comes with a nice little case. These are from the brand Les Specs, and I believe they were around the $60 range. I would pay that again. Like these really have held up so nicely and have been through a lot. Lastly, I wanna tell you about this candle from Target. And this is the sea salt bergamot soy candle from the hearth and hand line with magnolia i love so many of their candle scents but one thing that kind of irks me about their line is that a lot of them don't like distribute this scent well around your house like i love their light kind of zesty scents or like the lemon scents but they don't permeate my house like i want them to most of the time this one is an exception. So things you should know about me is that I love bergamot. That is a scent that I am attracted to in everything. Like four of my favorite perfumes, that's a top scent note. And obviously that it is in this too because the name is sea salt bergamot. But this is just such a fresh, like standing by the ocean with a hint of perfume. So you're still getting that great seaside, ocean, salty smell, but with a little bit of an oomph from the bergamot. I'll be sure to put the top notes on the screen for you because I know my description is probably not doing it for you. This is just for those of you that like a really light scent that's still strong. Like you can still smell this throughout your house. I love this so much upon first sniff that I actually bought three of these candles at the store and I'm tempted to go back and buy a couple of more because I feel like even though this is definitely leaning on beachy, this is something that I would wanna burn year round because it's just a great kind of neutral scent. So if you're like me and you love bergamot scented things, definitely don't let this candle slip by you as these seasons are passing because I feel like pumpkin candles are gonna be on the shelves before we know it. All right, that's everything. That is all of the favorites that I have to share with you for the month of July. This has just been the best summer. I feel like definitely coming off of last summer when everything was just kind of a disappointment. Granted, we did get married last summer, which was hugely exciting and so happy. And to finally be able to celebrate that with a honeymoon this summer, just really, I don't know, it was wonderful. And I also got to spend time with friends that I really get to see in really pivotal stages of their lives. It's just been great. So I'm excited to be back on here uploading fun new content. This is just a relaxing place to be on the internet. Negativity is not welcome. But if you liked this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.